Happy in your mind. Oh, yes. What can wash away our sins? There is nothing but the blood of Jesus, the blood that was shed on Calvary Cross, the blood that brought salvation unto us. Peter said, There is no name given unto man on earth in heaven for a man to be saved except the name of our Lord Jesus, the blood of Jesus. Yes, that is the only one given unto us. Yes. Yes. Yeah. What can wash away my sins? Nothing but the blood, the blood of Jesus. Hey, what can make me whole again? Nothing but the blood, the blood of Jesus. Greetings, brother. Let your sins flow. That makes me white as snow. Ah, I don't feel. I know nothing. The blood of Jesus. Yes, there's nothing except the blood of Jesus. The blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Mm. Oh, but in this I see nothing The blood of Jesus For my Let's end this I play nothing The blood of Jesus And oh your sins are flowed out That makes me white as snow What I found I know nothing The blood, the blood There is nothing, there is only one thing The blood of Jesus The blood of your salvation Oh, the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ Yes. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, this is all my hope and peace. Nothing but the blood, the blood of Jesus. Oh, this is all my righteousness. Nothing but the blood, the blood of Jesus. And all righteousness that flowed up. That makes me white as snow. Oh, no, I I know nothing but the blood, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus. Father, we thank you, we thank you, we thank you for your shed blood. Oh, in the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you once again. We give you all the praise, we give you all the adoration. We thank you for another month, the month of August, the eighth month. We thank you. In Jesus' name, Amen. Once again, men, women of God, children of God, we bring you greetings. Happy new month. Happy new month. May this month be your month. May the Lord open your heavens unto you. May the Lord walk you, the Spirit of God, walk you into every promise of God. May God fight every battle to you, for you. And may He give you success on every other side in the name of Jesus Christ. May the Lord go. <clears throat> My prayer is that you understand this. If you continue to do what the same thing you did in the month of July, I guess it's going to be the same. But if you begin to do more in Christ, 
and the spirit of God will give you victory in the name of Jesus Christ. May the Lord order your steps, every steps that you are taking. May God order it and bring success unto you in the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible says that it is God who ordered the steps of the righteous. Psalm 37 verse 23 says that the steps of the good man are ordered by the Lord and he delights in his way. Other version says that if you the Lord, if the Lord uh, appreciate or if the Lord your ways and uh, the Lord have delight in your ways, he order your steps. May God order your steps and give you victory in the name of Jesus. Once again, happy new month. The eight months is a month of success. When a woman is pregnant and the eight months represent a month almost about to, to deliver. Well, she got her strength and prepare for an open heaven. And so my prayer is that you continue to prepare. And prepare yourself in the Lord. Jesus said, Jesus said in uh, John 15 and the verse 5, He says, Abide in me, and my words abide in me. As a branch cannot bear fruit, except it abide in the vine, so you can do nothing apart from me. A child of God, listen to me. Without Jesus, you can do nothing. Hallelujah. Three things that the Bible tells us. It says, Without the shedding blood, there is no remission of sin, forgiveness of sin. The second one, he said, without faith, it is impossible. And Jesus said, without me, it is impossible to do anything. You can do nothing apart from me. May God strengthen you. May God give you victory. May he open the heavens unto you. As we continue to talk about the kingdom of God. The kingdom of God. <laughs> Jesus told us in his word. He said that we should seek the kingdom. And it righteousness and everything will be added unto us. All the parables, the stories, and everything that Jesus told was about the kingdom. Was about the kingdom that he the Bible says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, and whosoever believed in him should not perish but have an everlasting life. I talked about the morals of the kingdom of God. And the greatest aspect is that denying yourself. Deny yourself. Jesus said, if a man wants to come after me, if you want to come after Jesus, you must deny yourself. Take up your cross and follow me. Yes, precious is the flow of the blood of Jesus. God bless you, Pastor Stephen Grant Jr. It's the flow of the Lord Jesus Christ. That is the blood, the blood. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Jesus said, accept the man <laughs> be born again except you be born again you will not see the kingdom of God and how does a man be born again by accepting Jesus Christ as your personal savior immediately you accept Jesus as your personal savior heaven is open up to you and so without Jesus nobody no, no wonder Jesus told us in John 14 verses he said I am the way the truth and life no one comes to the father but by me, the way to, to heaven is, is only Jesus. There is no other way. There is no other way. That is why Jesus told us to enter into the narrow way. Brother is the way that leads to destruction. And narrow is the way that leads to heaven. Come to Jesus. Come to Jesus. And come and you find salvation for your soul. <laughs> I started talking about the parables. Jesus Christ gave us stories relating to the, the kingdom of God. He gave us stories. And the other day I talked about Jesus Christ telling us, showing us his lordship, the kingdom of God, and how important the kingdom of God is by referencing Matthew chapter 13, verse 25 downwards. Jesus told us about the kingdom of God and saying that the kingdom of God is like a man that went out to sow seed. He went out to sow seed. And after sowing the seed, when men slept, an enemy came and sowed seed. An enemy came and sowed seed. And Jesus Christ was telling us 
He explained the parable and told us all the story by saying that the field was is the world, the world that we all have come into. God has created us and come into the world. And Jesus said, this world and everything in the world is passing away. But those that do the will of God, those that do the will of God, let me ask you a question, a child of God, let me ask you, are you sure you are walking in the will of God? <laughs> a golden question when you ask, I ask myself every day, when you ask, nobody wants to. Because in this end time generation, we want to hear what seals our lifestyle. We are trying to make the Bible suit the way we live and the way we want to live. And so you see many preachers preaching in a way that will fit them, that everybody will follow them. Jesus said, follow me, and I will make you fishers of men. Jesus told us to follow him, walk in his step. And so we have to preach Christ and do his will. Hallelujah. He says that the field <laughs> is the world. And the bad seed are the children of the kingdom. The, the tears or the bad seed are the children of the wicked one. And the enemy that sold the seed is the devil. And the harvest is the earth. And the reaper are the angels. Jesus made us to know that there is an end to this world. And somebody <laughs> said that you don't believe. This weekend somebody was asking me. He want to ask me a question. And asking me. And where is heaven? Is heaven going to be in heaven or uh, what, why are we going? I say, listen, <laughs> Jesus said, no in <laughs> the kingdom of God is mystery. Whether it's in heaven or on earth, whether it's in, in the sky, all I know that my Bible tells me that there is a heaven and there is earth. I pray one day that you will understand. My prayer is that somebody will understand that there is a heaven. And our Jesus will come. Let me read how verse 41 downwards. Okay, let me start from verse 39. He said, The enemy that sowed the, the seed, he said, That sowed them is the devil. And the harvest is the end of the world. And the rapists are the angels. There is an end to this world. Somebody say, You don't believe. I don't believe. <laughs> you sit down and fill your basket with excuses for that somebody told you that there is no heaven or there is no there is no end. You think Jesus is going to destroy? <laughs> God is going to destroy this earth. Go and read Luke 17. Start from verse 20. Says, they as the days of as the days of Jonah, it was as the days was. In the last day, they ate and drink. Let me go read Luke 17. Luke 17. And I'll read from verse 20. It says, hear the word. He said, and uh, it was his way. He said, as it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be in the days of the Son of Man. They did eat. They drank. They did everything, thinking that there was no going to be an end. There was no going to be an end. Let's eat. Let's enjoy. Let's do whatever we want to do. Yes, there is going to be a saying. A child of God, listen to me. A woman, listen to me. There is an end. The Bible says, for we all will stand before the judgment seat of Christ and will give accounts. There is an end. There is going to be an end. And on that fateful day, where are you going to be? My prayer and your prayer is that we will live and we will be the one that will be called. He says that the, the, the and the angels, he says, as therefore the tears are gathered and burned in the fire, so shall it be the end of the world. The Son of Man shall send forth his angels, and they shall gather out of his kingdom all things that offend, and they which do iniquity, and they shall cast them into the furnace of fire. There shall be gnashing of teeth wailing there is heaven there is hell somebody don't believe it my prayer is that you will understand as I was, as a man of god to uh, somebody told me that oh, so for the way you preach you put fear in people and say we don't put peace here we don't put fear we tell the truth and no one want to hear the truth we are telling you there is heaven there is hell prepare yourself as you go along your daily duties you know that there is heaven and so you walk and do the will of God, not sitting down 
and say that there is going, there is coming heaven and hell. So I am going to sit down in the, my room, and knowing Jesus is mystery. Today I want to talk about another parable that he said. He said, let me talk about this again. He said that unto them therefore the scribe, every scribe which is instructed that the kingdom of heaven is like unto a man <laughs> that is a householder which brings forth out the treasures, things new and Jesus Christ put forth another parable. Let me go to Matthew chapter 18. Matthew 18. And I'll talk about another parable that he said, Jesus talked about the kingdom of God. If you come to the kingdom of God, one of the things you have to learn to do is to forgive. Forgiveness. And my prayer is that somebody will understand. Jesus gave us parables to know that this kingdom that you have come to, except you live a righteous life. That is why Jesus told us to seek the kingdom. And the, the condition that is attached to the kingdom is righteousness. Live in a holy life. Live in a holy life. It is not what you want. It is not what you want to do. It is not what you feel. It is what the word of God says. There are many people, they, they, they do what they want to do. Until, until calamity strike them before they begin to change. My prayer is that you begin to do. Matthew chapter 18 and the verse 22. 23 said, Therefore, is the kingdom of heaven likened unto a certain king which will take accounts of his servant? I am talking about the kingdom of God and how the kingdom of God is. Jesus Christ made us, gave us many stories, related stories, for someone to know that they had the reserve in their cell. And Jesus will one day come. That we will be accountable for everything that we are doing. Verse 1, he says that at the same time Jesus came, <laughs> came to his disciples, saying, who well, say that at the same time came the disciple unto Jesus, who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. Everybody wants to be the greatest. I thank God. I thank God for one spirit that God has given to me. That is uh, the spirit of humbleness. The spirit of humbleness. Hallelujah. When it comes to the kingdom of God, I am not I, I am not someone who said and wants to be. Uh, I always want to be the least. I want to always want to be the least. Hallelujah. Because knowing Jesus again is a mystery. The disciples came to Jesus. Everybody wants to know who is the greatest in the kingdom of God. And Jesus called a little child unto him and set him in the midst of them. And said, Verily I say unto you, except ye be converted and become like children, ye shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ, a child of God, that you know. Hallelujah. You, you give, you give, you have something, give it to your child. The child who will take it and do no one will give it to you. The people who have accepted the kingdom should take the kingdom and run with the kingdom and do the will of God. Do the will of God. Jesus said, accept you be converted, meaning that except you change and become like little children, you shall not enter into the kingdom. Whosoever therefore shall humble himself as little children, the same is greater in the kingdom of heaven. May God <laughs> humble us. The Bible says we should humble ourselves under the mighty hand of God, and in due time our God will lift us up. Humble yourself, my brother, my sister. Let's humble ourselves. And our God will lift us up. I say our Jesus will lift us up. He's ever faithful. Our God is ever faithful. Last this month of August be a month whereby you humble yourself under his hand. And the Lord will lift you. It is God who exalts. He says that uh, he says that uh, when we, we 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 lift him up, he will draw men unto himself. It's only lifting the name of our Lord Jesus Christ up. 
<laughs> he says that, but whosoever shall offend one of these little ones which believe in me, it was better for him that the man so who hung about his neck that he were drunk in the deep sea. Woe unto the world because of offense. Jesus Christ made us how important to forgive ourselves. And verse 11 he said, For the Son of Man came to save that which was lost. That is all Jesus came to do. Well, that is all Jesus came to do. When you read Luke chapter 19, Luke chapter 19, verse 10, Jesus also said it. That he came to save that was which was lost. When he met him, Zacchaeus, Zacchaeus ran and climbed a sycamore tree because the Bible says he was shot. Listen to me, my brother, my sister. Jesus is for those who will humble themselves and follow him. Those who come to the realization that they have sinned and they need salvation. He came to seek the lost. My prayer is that he came to seek the lost. Hallelujah. May God help us to understand. And he continues to say, Verily, verily, I say, that whosoever shall bind whatever we bind on earth shall be bind in heaven. Oh, that the disciple wanted to know who was the greatest among them. And Jesus said, told us how to, be, to forgive. He said, I say unto you, until seven times, and seventy seven times, how to forgive. They went to Jesus Christ and asked him, how many times do we have to forgive? How many times do we have to forgive? The disciple wanted to know. Two things they asked Jesus Christ. One, he said, who is the greatest in the kingdom? And again, he, they asked him, if a brother sinned against you, somebody sinned against you, how many times did Jesus used a parable to make us know and aware how to forgive? Verse 20, 21, he said, Then Peter came to him and said, Lord, how often shall my brother sin against me? And I forgive him. Till seven times, and Jesus said unto him, I say unto thee, until seven times, he said that, I say unto, I say not unto thee, until seven times, but until seventy times seven, is a lot. Is a lot. And Jesus said, therefore the kingdom of heaven is like uh, unto a certain king, which would take accounts of his servant. And he had begun to recall one was brought unto him which owned him ten thousand talent. Let's go and see. This man owns the king. This man owns the king. He owns the king. And the Bible says that they brought him before the king. And when Jesus had begun to recall, he says the one brought. But for as much as he had not to pay, his lords commanded him to be sold, and his wife, and the children, and all that he had, and paid to be made. And then the servant therefore fell, and worshipped him, saying, Lord, have patience with me, and I will pay them all. This man owed, owed the master, and the master told him to pay. The master told him to pay. And this man told the master that give me some time. Let me ask you, who has offended you? A child of God, who has offended you? And what are you hiding in yourself? You see, when you talk about forgiveness, we are not talking, is that, you see, there are people who think that forgiving is when you forgive somebody, meaning that you, you become foolish. No, you, no, 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 no. <laughs> forgive the person but you don't go and give yourself to the person don't go and give yourself and say that I, I have forgiven you but uh -uh. somebody said the bible said we should love our neighbor as ourselves love them but be careful be vigilant be vigilant not that the person wants to destroy you the person wants to, to kill you and so you say I have forgiven you then you take your neck for the person to kill be, be watchful. Forgive them, understand that. And be careful. Be, be vigilant. 
Hallelujah. Yes. The man forgave him. But the one that was forgiven, the Bible says that, the Bible says that he went, he went his way. And let's see what he did. Let's see what he did. The Bible says he fell down and worshipped him and said, Lord, have patience with me. I will pay thee all. Then the Lord of the servant was moved with compassion and lose him and forgave him his death. But the same servant went out and found one of his fellow servants who, which owned him a hundred pence. And he had laid hands on him and took by his throat saying, Pay me that you own me. And his fellow servant fell down at his feet and besought him saying, Have patience with me and he will pay. I said, I will pay thee all. And he would not but one who went and cast him into prison, he should pay the debt. So when his followers saw what was done, they went very, they were very sorry, and came and told their Lord all that was done. Then his Lord, after that, he had called him and said unto him, O wicked servant, I forgive thee all thy debts, because thy have thy deserve, deserved me. Should not thou also have had compassion on the fellow servant, even as I had pity on thee? And his Lord was wrath, and delivered him into torment, till he was he should pay all that was due to, unto him. So likewise shall my heavenly Father do also unto you, if you from your heart forgive not every one his brother dear trespasses. Jesus Christ was telling us how to forgive. How to forgive. How to forgive. A child of God, listen to me. Forgiveness, forgiving people is healing by itself. <laughs> to forgive people is healing by itself. Hallelujah. There are many people, they are dying or they, they have a lot of diseases because they have about what somebody did to them. It has already happened. Let it go. One of the things I was telling, uh, I was telling a man this weekend. Say one of the things I don't think about anybody. Me, <laughs> I have gone through a lot that have strengthened me and has made me strong on every other side. And so, no matter the trouble, I just, I just shake it off and go my way because. Nobody knows tomorrow. The one who holds tomorrow is the one who knows tomorrow. Listen to me, my brother. God will never consult your past to determine your future. Again, listen to me. God will never consult your past to determine your future. And again, listen. God will never consult those who trouble your yesterday to decide your future. Those who um, cause pain in your life yesterday, those who trouble your life yesterday, are not the ones who do, will decide your life tomorrow. Shake them off. Forgive them and begin to move on. Move on. <laughs> I thank God for, let me say this. My uncle, my uncle said something. He said, uh, uh, he told my mom, when her wife divorced, him, my uncle said, if you're a man, if you're a man and your wife leaves you, your wife leaves you, don't let it overcome you. Just live your life and do what is right. Work hard and do what is right. And no matter how, <laughs> you just live your life. I said, Bob Raye, now Bob Raye, and I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, that is why it's the same thing it's for the woman. The same thing. If your husband leaves you or your wife leaves you, don't let it overcome you. All you need to do is to live your life, live it well. Hold on to Jesus Christ. Because tomorrow holds a better thing. Greater things are coming. Hallelujah. Just love the Lord. And you find fulfillment. We are talking about forgiveness i don't know who have offended you a child of god that is listening to me i don't know 
But the first one is the forgiveness. God forgive us. God has forgiven us. God has forgiven us. Let me talk about the forgiveness of God. The Bible says, For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, and whosoever uh, believeth in Him should not perish. Let's turn our Bible to Mark chapter 2. <laughs> Mark chapter 2. Jesus told us something in Mark chapter 2. We're going to Mark chapter 2. And we're talking about the forgiveness of God. I read from verse, verse 13. Verse 2 says that Jesus entered Capernaum. When he entered Capernaum, the Bible said there was a noise. And there was a man who was sick with palsy. And they have four friends. They opened the roof. By opening the roof, the Bible says that they, my prayer is that you walk with people. Not people who will tell you they love you, but they don't have, they don't have any concern for you. There are some people, their enemies are more than their friends. The people that you are working, you think that they are your friends. I worked with somebody for 25 years. I did not know that he was he was our enemy. He would do everything. Now, yesterday I was sitting down and I was recounting it. I said to myself, it, if it has not been God on our side, if God loves you, they will do everything to destroy you. A woman of God saw us and told her, myself and my brother, and say, Atta, your mother's prayer has saved you. I say, yes, it is prayer. Somebody will tell you, oh, you don't need prayer. <laughs> you sit down. You sit down. There are wicked people. <laughs> Maybe you don't come from Africa. You don't come from Africa. You don't come from Ghana. You don't come from Ghana. We have people who have time to think about your downfall. We have people. You, we have people who plan. They are very dangerous. It is the grace of God. It is the grace of God that will keep some of us true. It is the grace of God. Work with people who, who, who always be devil for you. Mark chapter 2 verse 13. It says, and he went forth again by the sea of Galilee. And all the multitude restored unto him. And he taught them. <laughs> Sorry, Mark chapter 2. And as he passed by, he saw a Levi, the son of uh, Alphus, sitting at a reception of customers, and said unto him, Follow me. And he rose and followed him. And it came to pass that as Jesus sat at meat in his house, many publicans and sinners sat also together with Jesus and his disciples, for there was many and following him. And the Lord strengthened us. And remember Jesus Christ came that we may have life. Jesus said in John, John chapter 8 verse 12, is I am the light of this world. I am the light of this world. Whoever follow me will not walk in darkness, but he will have the light of life. It's very powerful. The light of life. My prayer is that you understand. <laughs> Again, let's see. Say you have the light of life. No wonder <laughs> David said, Your word is a lamp unto my feet and a light to my path. The word of God becomes light. It illuminates you, it opens your eyes, and your understanding to understand this world and how to walk. You will never be defeated. The child of God, listen to me. Whoever have taken the word of God and is running with the word of God. You will never be dis disappointed or be defeated. Yes, life will, will, will be like a roller caster. Life will blow you as a can in the middle of the sea. But yes, sir, no matter how they press you, success will be your portion in the name of Jesus Christ. I am talking about God's forgiveness. Forgiveness of sin. Jesus Christ was telling up as about the kingdom of God. You cannot come to the kingdom of God without the spirit of forgiveness. You cannot. Because God himself forgave us. The Bible says Jesus Christ was sitting with the Pharisees, the publicans, and sinners, and they were sat on the table, and they were eating. And when the scribes and the Pharisees saw him with the publicans and sinners, they said unto his disciples, How is this that he eats and drinks with publicans and sinners? Let's see verse 17. When Jesus heard it, he said unto them, 
they that are whole have no need of physician. But they that are sick, they say, I came not to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. <laughs> but sinners to repentance. I remember, I remember a man of God sent to somebody sent to me. He said that I tell you a thief, you are this, you are this. How are you preaching? I said that yes, thank God, thank God that you said that we we were, but now the blood of Jesus Christ have saved us. The blood of Jesus Christ have saved us. Save us. Jesus Christ came that we may have life. God's forgiveness. God has forgiven us. God has forgiven us. First John chapter 1 verse 7 through 9 said, But if we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship with one another. Walking in the light. And Jesus Christ is the light. Now get it is the light of this world. John chapter 8 verse 12. It says, I am the light of this world. Whoever followed me will never walk in darkness. But he will have the light of life. You have the light of life. Jesus Christ is the light. Come to him. He said, if we walk in light as he is in the light, we have fellowship with one another. And the blood of Jesus Christ, his son, cleans us from all sin. And if we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves. And the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive our sins and to clean us all from all unrighteousness. God keep <laughs> that our, our sins will be forgiven through Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ laid down his life for his friends. The kingdom of God, Jesus Christ told us, you cannot walk as a Christian, as a child of God, without the spirit of forgiveness. When Christians will talk about forgiveness, it's not that when you forgive the person, somebody who wants to destroy you, somebody who wants to kill you, <laughs> forgive the person. But do not get going back and sit down. Oh, <laughs> if he decide to kill you the first time, and God gives you success, don't try the second time. You, <laughs> if you don't take it, you will succeed. Just let distance be between the two of you, but don't humble anything against that man, that woman, that child. Just release yourself. Very soon we are going to pray. We're going to pray. We're going to enter these days. I want us to pray more and destroy. Because somebody was saying that people are praying and praying and praying. I just, I, I'll tell you, if you come from where we come from, you come from where we come from, that wickedness, wickedness has become part of us. Envyness and jealousy. Once you have time to build your lives, somebody also have time to sit down to bring your life down. A fire locate those who want to destroy you. Those who are planning for your fall. May the tender of God locate them in the name of Jesus Christ. May God. Hallelujah. I am talking about the forgiveness of God. Well, if you want to be a Christian, if you want to follow Jesus, Jesus said we must deny ourselves. If you don't want to deny yourself and take up your cross, you can be, not be his disciple. You cannot. You cannot be his disciple. You cannot. That is the reason why Jesus said many are called, but few are chosen. Few. And <laughs> many Christians think that there is no heaven, there is no end. There's not going to be any end. Life will come to an end, whether you like it or not. Life will come to an end. <laughs> about a week ago I was I sat down with my twin brother uh, we were born on UST campus my father used to work on UST campus and we have a privilege I went to UST nursery UST primary <laughs> God was gracious to us some of us we went to the, some of the best schools in Ghana and we were recounting my, all the, the, the fathers that were living in our community we counted them one by one and all of them have died Oh, my fathers, <laughs> they all have died. <laughs> and the mothers, few of them are living. And even the friends, some of them have died. All I want to tell you that there is an end. We are telling you not that to put fear in you, but we are telling you to prepare your life. <laughs> do what you're supposed to do. Listen, we have two lives to live. 
The one you are supposed to live and the one you are living. The one you are supposed to live is what God created you to be. You have to live a life of fullness, of impact, having effect. That is what God calls you to be. Not the one that you are living. Everybody lives a life. There are people, they just came into this world, eat and drink, go to work, come back and sleep and die. They will not make any impact. But there are people, their names will be there forever. Their names will be there forever. They have an impact. They are living the life they are supposed to live. You can have to keep on <laughs> grinding. You have to keep on pursuing. Live your life. Live a full life. May the Lord strengthen us. I am talking about God's forgiveness. God forgave us. And so that we also have to forgive others. When you talk about, when you read Luke 15, Luke 15 verse 11 to 32, is the same thing as it was showing God's forgiveness unto us. When you talk about the prodigal son, when you talk about the prodigal son, he says, if your brother sin against you, rebuke him, and if he repent, forgive him. <laughs> Luke, Luke chapter 17 verse eight. let me go and read Luke 15 Luke, Luke chapter 15 talking about the parable the parable of the prodigal son the parable of the prodigal son the son who said that no I will take everything that my father give me my portion like many people are doing they want to live anyhow in this world thinking that the world let me live your life <laughs> yeah, yesterday we were talking about it the, the only one I talked to is my twin brother I thank God that God gave me a brother <laughs> that our heart is so knelt together from our, our mother's womb and I thank God for we, we are the only people that talk you cannot break through us the devil, the devil have done anything but you cannot because we pray together, talk together, we were discussing, and we say that there are many people they don't care how they will even destroy your life for their gains. <laughs> All they think about is money and how they're going to get money. And so, if they even stealing from you, people are dying out of people's hands. Yes, sir. They sit in the churches and go to Africa, go to Ghana. The reason why Ghana, our churches are full, but with no impact, we are not seeing everyone have no integrity. We don't have integrity. Nobody have integrity. <laughs> Go to Ghana, you see a man of a prophet, look at your face, lying to you. In the name, using the Bible, lying to you. But yes, he don't have integrity. Why? Because of what he will gain from you. May God have mercy on us. May God have mercy on us. May God have mercy on us. The son took everything and went away. The child of God, God has forgiven us. Let's also forgive people that the fullness of God, if you have come into the kingdom of God, learn how to forgive and don't have all anything within you. <clears throat> I thank God for his word. No, 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 no. I walk on this earth freely. I don't have anybody's I don't have anybody and anything against anybody. But yes, still, if I see, I see that you have evil thoughts against me. No, no, no. You will never come into, you never come into my territory. Never. Because in our language, we say that with air, we trap people. If somebody will set a trap for you, and if you don't take care, Many people have died. Again, listen to me. There are many people walking on this earth. Their enemies are more than their friends. The people that you think they are your friends, they are not your friends. <laughs> they are not your friends. <laughs> they are around you and deceiving you, thinking that, oh, he last me. Had it been them your life, you always be behind and they'll be mocking at you. Be vigilant. If you have become a Christian, African Christianity, Africans think that when you come to the Lord Jesus Christ, when you become a Christian, everything, heaven will be doing everything. And so, oh, if somebody even is pulling cutlass, forgive him. 
And God will do it when we're in the church of Pentecost. You sit in the church and the same people will be, will be crushing you. You say, forgive it and give it to God. And give it to God, African Christianity. Forgive them, but don't give them chance. Because don't sit down for them to destroy you. Run away. The Bible says we should resist the devil. And he'll flee from us. Amen. Let's go and pray. We'll continue tomorrow. Say, Lord Jesus, today I, I accept you as your Lord and personal Savior. My Lord and personal Savior. He always says, if anybody be in you, he's a new creature. All things are past. And everything has become new. As you have forgiven me, so I pray that you grant me the spirit, your spirit to forgive others and be your servant or your, or your me servant until you come to call me from this earth in Jesus' name. Amen. There are many people that have offended you one way or the other. Maybe the way your husband left you it was all right, but forgive him. <laughs> it becomes a medic to your soul and your bones. The way your wife, the wife left you and did not want to. You wanted her. But she said, I don't I don't want you. What can you do? When you proposed to her, immediately you proposed to her, she gave you her will. And now if she has retreated or taken it back, you cannot force. Just forgive her and move on in your life. No one knows what tomorrow holds. But listen, because he lives, you can face tomorrow. Try to forgive. Forgiveness is a medicine that heals the bones, strengthens the bones, and helps somebody to live. In Jesus, in the final church, there are good churches. <laughs> there are good churches. But let me let me be honest to you. If you want to follow prophecies, if you want to follow prophecies, by the time you realize <laughs> they are so wicked, they are so wicked. I, I will every day tells you nowhere in the Bible the Bible said there are going to be a lot of prophets. The Bible says that he will pour his spirit upon all flesh and he'll prophesy. Prophesy does not mean you're a prophet. There are women and men in the church of Pentecost <laughs> when you come to prophesy, not that they are prophets. But one thing I can assure you, my Bible tells me, there'll be a lot of false prophets. They are everywhere. <laughs> they look at your face and say they entered your village. They do, they die. Do, I, do I know you? And say, no, 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 you don't know me. They have inform Some of them have gathered information. They are liars. And they will tell you your car number. If who? If who? Tell you your car number. Tell you your hand what color and you are jumping. Jumping. They like, lie to you. Jumping. May God help us to understand. Some of us will work with some. And yes, too, yes too, when you talk about them, there are some of them that they have been indoctrinated. If you do, they will fight you. Remember, we were talking with a woman Saturday. How? He almost, he, she should beat you. That until their life will be destroyed. I told the woman of God, where you are sitting, if you don't get down from that place, you, <laughs> the heavens will not be, will be open unto you. She insulted me. She's now over 48 years without a husband, without a child. She's still, still sitting there. I pray in the name of Jesus that the Holy Spirit will lose her from there. The Holy Spirit will lose her from there. Because they don't care about you. All they care is the money. And so if they are destroying your life, they use you as a ladder, the steps, stepping on you to go high. May God forgive us. In Jesus' name. Amen. May the Lord forgive us. Let's enter into a time of prayer. Somebody begin to pray. Say, Lord Jesus, I thank you. Begin to thank God. Let's enter into a time of prayer. Say, Lord, I thank you. Say, Jesus, I thank you. Open your mouth and begin to thank the Lord. Bless the name of the Lord. Just thank God. Just thank God. Bless the name of the Lord. Let's enter into a time of prayer and say, Lord, I thank you. I, I thank you for my life. Thank God. It's a new month. It's a new month. The month of August. This month, let it be your month. Pray in the name of Jesus. 
Jesus, open your mouth and say, Lord Jesus, I thank you. Just thank God for January, February, March, April, May, June, July. And we have stepped into August. Somebody is, <laughs> the faith day in August is almost ending for some people in other parts of the world. But thank God, somebody don't appreciate. Somebody don't appreciate. Say, Lord, I thank you. I thank you. Hey, believe you me, there are many people who thought that they were going to see the following year but now they have become funeral but thank god and that the grace of god has been sufficient unto you that you are living for another day you are living and you will live you will not die until you fulfill every purpose and begin to thank god bless the name of the lord just thank the lord jesus and say father i thank you for my life father i thank you for my brother's life i thank you for my children's life i thank you for my mother's life i thank you for my father's life open your mouth and begin to thank god bless the lord it is not how much you have there are many rich people there are many many people they have everything but they are not living happily as you are there are people that uh, they are rich i remember one of my boss uh, nana told me that i have money i have everything but everything i buy is more expensive but uh, everybody say that anything you wear hey it is not how rich you are i was telling people me i don't know what is called gucci i don't know what is, i take anything and i wear but the grace of God, a child of God, open your mouth and thank God and bless the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Thank Him. Say, Lord, I thank you. Say, I thank you, Jesus. I thank you for my children. Thank God. Thank God for seeing another day. Seeing this man, bless the name of the Lord. Bless the name of the Lord. Just say, Lord Jesus, I thank you. Say, Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you. Just say, Lord, I thank you. Bless the Lord. We are thanking our Jesus. We are thanking Him. We are blessing the name of our God. Just thank him. Say, Lord, I thank him. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank him. In Jesus' name. We are going to pray. We are praying. Every demonic plans, you see, for every year, for every month, every day, as you sit down and continue to plan your day, plan your month, plan the year. <laughs> there is a people there are evil people that also sit down and plan <laughs> the people they are going to destroy the sad aspect of it is that if you are not careful and the grace of god don't protect you you're going to be a victim you fall into somebody's <laughs> trap innocently and destroy your life destroy your life i was i remember i told you i was driving i went to work and uh, 249 those who live in Houston, no, 249 Highway, and from from Ground Road, I was almost about, and there was a lady be behind me, a van. I did not know the number of people that were in the van, and we were at a junction, the traffic lights. We saw a car coming, <laughs> speed, not knowing that the driver was drunk. The driver was drunk, and the light was red, and the, the lady was before me all of a sudden hey, this guy hit the lady the lady the mother and the granddaughter they all died instantly and so you pray for protection that somebody's mistake somebody carelessness will not affect your life we are praying every demonic plans every plans of the enemy every plans of the enemy in march january through july we are praying against every plan that they have set for your life. You are pr praying the Lord, let the blood of Jesus be a permanent wall of fire. Let the blood of Jesus. And as we pray against the plan, you are praying against these demons, uh, wicked people. People that are people, they call themselves friends, they call themselves brothers, they call themselves sisters. Some of them even sit in the church. They call themselves church members. But uh, they, they are not there for church. They are dead to destroy. We are praying the Father, every spirit, every demon, everyone that have evil intention for your life, for your family's life. May the fire of Jehovah locate them. May the spirit of God locate them wherever they are, whether they are in their homes, whether they are on their mountains, they are in their rooms. Every demonic agenda for your life. Let the Lord turn it back in the name of Jesus. Say, Lord Jesus, say it after me. Say, Lord Jesus, today. 
in the month of August. I pray in the name of Jesus. Every spirit, every demon that have filled somebody, that have purpose to destroy, every demonic gathering, everywhere they have gathered for my life. I pray in the name of Jesus. Let the Holy Ghost look at them and destroy every demonic plans concerning my life. Open your mouth and let's pray. We are praying. Open your mouth and say, Lord, I pray. I pray into my enemies, whatever they are. Every evil spirit, everyone that is planning for my failure, planning for what is grace, planning, may fire look at them, may tender look at them. I crush them with the blood of Jesus. I pray in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. Somebody say, pray for them. We pray for them we pray for their growth but there are some people because of the spirit in them they will never repent they will never repent only they want to see you immediately they see you they are furious and angry they want to destroy pray in the name of jesus hey david pray this prayer in psalm 35 he said lord fight against them that fight against me take hold of your shield and your buckler and stand up for my health let the lord fight those who want your disgrace there are people they want your disgrace they want you to amount to nothing hey, you are trouble you have been in England, you have been in Europe, Germany, you have been in America, talk about it for many years. You work and work all to, to avail. We pray in the name of Jesus. Whoever is brave behind, they want you to put you shame. They don't want you to amount to anything. They want your disgrace. You want your family disgrace. You want your church to disgrace. They want everything. But like the mercies of God, let this month of death be your month. Let it be your month. In the name of Jesus, say, Lord, I pray to my life every demonic gathering every demonic altar every demonic covenant i pray oh my god somebody we are calling the name of jesus let somebody say that your prayer is foolishness let somebody say that you don't know any god but you know your god the bible said they that know your god i thank god that some of us we know that god the one who died and resurrected his name is jesus his name is jesus his name is jesus Pray in the name of Jesus. Say, Lord, wherever they have gathered, every demonic witch, every demonic witch, that every demonic oh God shrine in my mother's family, father's family, waging war against my life, against my life, against my children. Uh, fire, look at them. Tender, look at them. Pray in the name of Jesus. We are calling the name of Jesus. We are calling the blood of Jesus. Let the blood work. The blood that gives you strength from day to day in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in Jesus name Amen again we are praying in the month of July there are many people that lost their valuables there are many people that lost their family you can recount it we are praying in the name of Jesus Every demonic plan that the enemy have formed for your life for this month of August. He said we are praying ahead of them. You are you are you are being smart through the Holy Spirit by going ahead of them. By the time they get there, the power of God have already destroyed. We are praying in this month. Say, Lord Jesus, I commit the month of August before you. According to your word, by the reason of the shed blood of Jesus Christ. I come against every plans of the enemy, of the devil, of witches and wizards, evil prophets, hey, evil men, demonic shrines and altar, against my life, against my children's life, against my spouse's life, against my family's life, in the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ, Holy Spirit, go before me, as you went before the Israelites, by day a pillar of clouds, and by night a pillar of fire, and destroy every demonic enemy, in this month of August, in the rest of the month in the year, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the blood of Jesus, yes, open your mouth, lift up your voice and begin to pray and say, Lord, Holy Ghost, go before me. Everywhere they have dig a pit, those who dug the pit, let them fall in. Every 
demonic trap. Hey, they want to destroy. They don't care. Hey, they don't have mercy. They don't have any compassion when they are destroying. I have a friend when he, he will walk with you. Any bad thing that will happen to you will be laughing. He will be laughing and he will be happy. Hey, they are very wicked. I am telling you there are people walking. The people you are walking with, you think they are, they, are your, they are your friends, they are your enemies. They are more enemies than friends. I pray in the name of Jesus. Pray. Say, Lord, in this month, every demonic enemy, demonic friend, demonic pastor, demonic God pastor, evil prophet that have come into my life so that was to destroy. May fire locate them. May tender locate them. May uh, uh, the blood of Jesus Christ them. Some people have died in this hand of evil prophets. Some of them have died. Hey, they miss Sudi and tell you it's the blood of Jesus. And you go home and drink it. They put things and you begin to eat it and you die. They don't care. All they care is the money and fame. We pray in the name of Jesus. Every plans, every plans, every plans. Pray. Somebody pray with us. Call the name of Jesus and say, Father, good morning, Stephen. I pray in the name of Jesus. I pray. Rika the Shanta Tabrata, Ipade de Banda Zukoro, pray in the name of Jesus, pray and say, Lord, let the fire of Jehovah locate them everywhere they are, every spirit, Christ them, Christ them, Opium of and Christ them in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Ipade de Banda Zukoro, Yeshua Jan Kamanima, strike them with the blood of Jesus, strike them with the blood of Jesus, you shall never fail. You win this battle of life. In the name of Jesus, in the blood of Jesus, Father, we thank you. We bless you in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Again, we are praying. There are also good things in this month that needs to look at you. Needs to look at you. Do you know God through Paul said there are great doors for effectual sure work that have been opened unto me, but there are many adversaries. Uh, an open door, an open heaven. There are some people, I call it the mountain of Pisgah. It was on that mountain that Moses stood and saw the promised land, but never. There are many people they see, they have good idea, I have a father. One father in America, he has every plans, good plans. He show people the plans and they go, they succeed. But he has never. And age is catching him. It is not how smart you are. It is how you can pray yourself through. Because <laughs> I thank God for the good ideas that people have. You have to have your seed. You have to have your strength. You, you think everybody in Africa is failing is foolish. You think everybody is foolish. You think everybody is foolish. <laughs> you don't know how people are determined. You don't know. I know a man who worked but three jobs every day for many years. And even the house, the house and the things that he built, used the money bill he, he could not enjoy and died. You don't pray and sit down. And let evil people, demons, deceive you and tell you, oh, you don't need to pray. You don't need to pray so that they can, they'll be able to do. Overcome. We are praying in the name of Jesus. We are praying. Say, Lord Jesus. Say, to say in the name of Jesus. Father, this month, every will and every purpose of God concerning my life. You always say you call things that were not as though they were. Where? So I call forth. I call forth every good and perfect gift. You always say it's from you. Let it locate me. Let it come to me. I command the Holy Spirit to strike any demonic spirit. That will become a barrier. That will become a war. That will become an adversary to prevent my blessing. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, you are praying. Hey, there is healing. Maybe your your prayer is that Lord heal me, heal my sister, heal my mother, heal my brother. Hey, there is healing. The Bible says by His tribe we are healed. You have to receive healing. 
You have to receive it. We are praying. Somebody, maybe your prayer request is your womb. Hey, there is no, I don't believe in barrenness. I don't believe in barrenness. The same thing, I don't believe in divorce. Divorce is not of God. Hey, divorce is not of God. And barrenness, man, go into the Bible. Go into the Bible. Hey, all of them that the Lord closed their womb, they gave birth. Rebecca did it. Hannah did it. Elizabeth did it. Go and recount it. We are praying in the name of Jesus. Let your blessing locate you. Let anything that God has purpose concerning your life. Hey, let it uh, locate you in the name of Jesus. Lift up your voice. Lift it up and say, Lord, I pray. I pray to my friends. I pray. Every envious friend, jealous friend uh, that is too evil spirit is working against me. Tell them, locate them. Fire, locate them. Yes, more young come on him. Hey, pray in the name of Jesus. Use the blood of Jesus. They are evil. They are wicked. They don't have mercy. They will destroy while they are laughing. They are happy when they are destroying. Pray to them. Pray and command fire. Let the fire of Jehovah look at them. Whoever wants your fall, let this man be your man. Hey, if it says God, you stand in the court. Let victory, let the Holy Ghost minister. Let the fire of God fall on them. I have been there before when I was caught. Hey, they sent me to court. An innocent person. And I that the, the judge said that everything was against me. My, my lawyer tell, told me that I have to make a plea deal because they were going to send me into jail for 15 years. <laughs> Somebody that have done nothing but uh, was generated from the camp of the enemy. I sat down and the Holy Spirit came upon me. I lifted my hands and my, my lawyer was pulling my hands down. <laughs> Everybody was looking at me. And the lawyer called me into the ball. Immediately I began to speak. The lawyer, but the judge bowed on his head, hit his order, and said, Release this guy. Release this guy right now. He's innocent. Release him. Open your mouth and pray. Whilst, whilst I was there, the elders were clapping their hands. The church members were happy because they are destroying an unted one. They want to destroy an innocent soul. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Hey, don't sit down. They will tell you prayer has no portion because they want to destroy you. Pray in the name of Jesus. Pray in the name. Pray that everyone, every demonic arrangement concerning your life, every demonic disgrace, may fire located. Yes, my young come on him. Pray, pray to the church. They are they may be elders, they may be deacons, but they are evil, they are witches. Pray. Hope your mother pray in the name of Jesus. Command fire. Yes, come on him. Those that sit in the church and use church to cover their face and do evil. Yes, come on him. I pray the power of the Holy Ghost. Let every blessing locate you. Somebody pray with us. Open your mouth and pray. Pray. Whoever has become the problem in your life. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Listen to me. I remember <laughs> I pray, I preach in a church. Every time I preach, one lady will come to me and say that. Oh, why is it that anytime you stand in the pulpit, you begin to curse? I say, I don't curse anybody. I preach the truth. I preach the truth. You see, they will sit in the church. And because they sit in the church, cover themselves with the church, they are evil. They are demons. There are a lot of them. Let heaven be open unto you in the name of Jesus. We are praying everything that belongs to you that the, the enemy has, has come with is, is holding the camp of the enemy. You know your heart desire. Again, not every woman that is living single is a bad woman. Not everybody. Greetings to you, my brother and also at Bonsu. Not everybody who is living a single life is a bad woman. There are good women. There are some women. A man should take them and let them sit their, their car, the front seat, and just show them to everybody, this is my wife. How beautiful and how good they are. The devil will fight you. The devil will fight you. They will fight you. Some of them will smile. Some of them, they come to you. All the things that you fall. And you'll be disgraced. Everywhere they have arranged the money disgrace for your life. We are going to pray. Praying in the power of the Holy Ghost. 
and in the name of Jesus. Listen, we are not we are not praying against anybody because we we are we just stand up and pray. We are praying against evil deeds. We are praying against evil men and evil women. We are praying against them. They are very wicked. Say, Lord Jesus, in this month of August, anything that belongs to me belongs to my family. Whoever has become a war, whoever is preventing me from sitting upon my throne, whoever is fighting my life, whether from my father's family, my mother's family, from my friends, from my spouse's family, from my community, from the church, <laughs> from my, or whether be a neighbor, as the earthquake enter Paul and Silas prison, so I command the earthquake unto them to release us from their hands in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, just open your mouth and begin to pray. Just open your mouth. This month is your month. A child of God, pray and say, Lord Jesus, we are not praying against anybody, we are praying against evil spirit, witchcraft that will mount in the night for to destroy you, right? to sow diseases and sickness over your life, to disgrace your life. They are very evil. They are very evil. They are very evil. They don't want to see any good thing coming to you. They don't want to. They will sit down with you, eat with you. But they, within them, they want you to be destroyed. Pray in the name of Jesus. Say in Jesus' name. Father, let this man be my month. Let this month I break down every demonic wall as the wall of Jericho fell. Let every spiritual wall separating me from my blessing fall from my marriage, from my, my blessing, from your glory fall in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. Open your mouth and pray. Call the name of Jesus, call it hey, in the name of Jesus and the blood of Jesus uh, cannot break you through. No amount of oil can break you through there. We have been deceived by charismatic leaders. We have been deceived. Instead of uh, putting our hope in the, the blood and the name that led us to believe that is oil. Pray in the name of Jesus. It is the blood. It is the blood. It is the spirit that quickens. It is the spirit. The spirit of the Holy Spirit. Pray in the name of Jesus. Pray and say, Lord, I pray this month. Let this month be a my miraculous month. Let this month be a month that will bring, bring my blessing. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I command the Holy Ghost fire into your life, into your mother's family. I command it into your father's family. Every spirit every demon, every altar on which your life has been placed every demonic altar on which your health has been placed every demonic altar on which your, your destiny has been placed I command the Holy Spirit by the power of the Holy Ghost to be released you, may you be released as the cult was loose so I pray the Bible says whatever we lose shall be loose I command the blood of Jesus to lose you from that demonic altar that demonic altar may you receive your healing May you receive your healing. May you receive your healing. May you receive your healing in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every demonic spirit of divorce, every demonic spirit of singleness, I pray, I release you from it. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Pray in the power of the Holy Ghost. Somebody pray with us. Come on, fire, fire, fire. Holy Ghost, fire. We are praying. We are calling the fire of the Holy Ghost into your life, into your destiny. Pray the power of God. Pray the spirit of God. Say, Lord, I crush every hand of the enemy concerning my life. And I take anything that belongs to me from my mother's family, from my father's family, every demonic altar on which my life has been laid. I release myself. I am talking about witchcraft altars, demonic witchcraft altars. Release yourself. Release your life in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the we thank you. We bless you. In the name of Jesus. Let's pray our last prayer. Uh, say, Lord Jesus. Today, I pray that your spirit will fill me. A child of God, our strength. The Bible says we shall receive power when the Holy Ghost has come upon us. A child of God, all your strength is in the Holy Spirit. Pray that the Lord fill me and empower me and strengthen me. 
If you are empowered in the Holy Ghost, you can take anything that belongs to you. We have been deceived by our entire charismatic leaders. <laughs> they are, they are, they are, we deceive them. They deceive us. And they use anointing oil to deceive many people. So many people are sitting in the church. They go, they pray over the oil, and they give it to you. You rub yourself, and you sit down. In the Bible, they use the anointing oil to, to anoint kings. Pray of it. Open your mouth and pray for the power of the Holy Ghost. We pray for the infilling and his, uh, infilling power and dwelling presence of the Holy Spirit to strengthen us. So just open your mouth and say, Lord, I bless you. I bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. Just pray and strengthen yourself in the name of Jesus. These days we'll pray more. We pray more. I want us even to pray about 40 minutes. Pray continuous prayer. When I come, we'll pray about 40, 50 minutes of continuous prayer. Because we need to release ourselves. We need to release ourselves. We need to call the fire of Jehovah. I remember when I was growing in the church of Pentecost. I grew up in the church of Pentecost. I was stand up for uh, my, uh, my spiritual mentor. And that part, this man who had no education. I will every day continue to mention his name. <laughs> he's the only one that inspired when I close my eyes he is the only one I see this man had no education but within the kingdom of God he was more than an oak tree very strong little one he will open his mouth and people you cannot go out and come into the church with sin people were confessing people the fire of God was so strong but today we have all the degrees we have all the titles but with nothing they are empty empty with titles they are empty they are empty and they have destroyed the church. Destroyed the church. Father, we thank you for your people. We pray in the name of Jesus. Continue to reveal yourself to us. Let's understand your kingdom. Draw us more closer to you and know that you are the only way. Thank you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Happy new man to you all. We continue tomorrow. Papa, that's if you. Now the numbers now, Mamina. May the throne numbers not to Anna, my banner, Uncle Anafa, and the numbers, and the patch of so many as I am. God bless you all. Bye.